Okay, in this video I'm going to perform a partial fraction decomposition of this expression here and it's going to be a long video so sit back and relax and try and take it all in. I may actually break this down into two videos so it doesn't get too monotonous so that you can follow it more clearly. The first thing to notice is that the numerator polynomial is of a higher degree than the denominator. So what we have here is an improper fraction. And when we have numerical improper fractions, such as 8 over 5, we can turn them into mixed numbers by first dividing the numerator by the denominator. So in this case, 8 divided by 5 is equal to 1, and then expressing the remainder as 3 fifths. And we we'll use the exact same principle to turn this improper fraction to the sum of a polynomial plus a proper fraction. So what I'll do now is to write the denominator or the divisor on the left. And then I'll write a long division bar and put the numerator or the dividend on the inside of the bar. So we get 2x to the 5 minus 11x to the 4th plus 26x cubed minus 18x squared minus 34x. So the first I ask, what do I need to multiply x cubed by to get 2x to the 5th? And the answer is 2x squared. So I write 2x squared above the x squared column. So 2x squared times x cubed gives me 2x to the 5th. 2x squared times negative 5x squared gives me negative 10x to the 4th. 2x squared times 12x gives me 24x cubed. And 2x squared times negative 12 gives me negative 24x squared. And then I subtract this new line from the above line. So the first term cancels out. Negative 11x to the fourth minus negative 10x to the fourth is negative x to the fourth. Positive 26x cubed minus 24x cubed is an uh, positive 2x cubed and uh, negative 18x squared minus negative 24x squared is positive 6x squared. And the next step is to bring down the negative 34x. And this new line becomes my new dividend. So what do I multiply x cubed with to get negative x to the fourth and the answer is negative x. So negative x times x cubed is negative x to the fourth. Negative x times 5x squared is positive 5x cubed. Negative x times 12x is negative 12x squared and negative x times 12 uh, times negative 12 is positive 12x. And as again, I subtract the new line from the above line. So the first term cancels out. Second term is 2 minus 5x is negative x cubed, negative 3x cubed. 6x squared minus negative 12x is positive 18x squared. And 34x so a negative 34x minus 12x is negative 46x. And next I bring down this positive 48. And this new line is now my new dividend. So what do I need to multiply x cubed with to get negative uh, x, uh, 3x cubed? And the answer is negative 3. So negative 3 times x cubed is negative 3x cubed. Negative 3 times negative 5x squared is positive 
15x squared negative 3 times positive 12x is negative 36x and negative 3 times uh, negative 12 is positive 36 and subtract the new line from the one above first term cancels out 18x squared minus 15x squared is 3x squared so negative 46x minus negative 36x is negative 10x and 48 minus 36 is negative is positive 12 okay so I can express the fraction as 2x squared minus x minus 3 plus the remainder 3x squared minus 10x plus 12 all over x cubed minus 5x squared plus 12x minus 12 and now this is the fraction we need to perform the decomposition on so the first step is to completely factorize the denominator and because I have a denominator of a third power I'm going to use a guess and check method to find my factors so my first guess is going to be x equals 2 so let x equals 2 and I sub it into the denominator polynomial so I get uh, 2 cubed minus 5 times 2 squared plus 12 times 2 minus 12 is equal to so 12 cubed is equal to 8 minus 5 times 4 is equal to minus 20 plus 24 minus 12 and this equals so 8 minus 12 uh, 8 minus 20 is equal to negative 12 plus 24 is positive 12 minus 12 is equal to 0 and this was the answer that we were looking for so this means that x minus 2 equals 0 is a factor and we need to perform long division once again to find the other factor so let's divide 3x minus 5x squared plus 12x minus 12 again by x minus 2 so I write the divisor on the left then write my long division bar and then write 3, oh sorry, x cubed minus 5x squared plus 12x minus 12 inside. And what do I now need to multiply x by to get x cubed? And the answer is x squared. So x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 2 is negative 2x squared. And I'm subtract the new line from the line above first term cancels out negative 5x squared minus negative 2x gives me negative 3x squared and I bring down the next term now what do I need to multiply x by to get negative 3x squared and the answer is negative 3x so negative 3x times x is negative 3x squared negative 3x times negative 2 is positive 6x and I subtract the new line from the line above first term cancels out and the uh, second term is 6x and finally I bring down the negative 12 so what do I now need to multiply x by to get to negative 6 x is the answer is 6 so 6 times x is 6x and 6 times negative 2 is negative 12 and that leaves me with a remainder of 0 alright so 3x squared minus 10x plus 12 and now my new denominator is x minus 2 multiplied by x squared minus 3x plus 6 
Okay, so the next step in the process is to try and factorize this quadratic. So let's uh, use the quadratic formula, which is x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of delta divided by 2a. And delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac. So let's uh, work out what delta is. We have negative 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 6, which he calls 9 minus 24, which is equal to negative 15. So delta being negative means we are going to get an imaginary number when we square root it. And therefore that means we only have imaginary roots. In other words, we can't reduce this quadratic to a multiple of two linear factors. And therefore we say this quadratic is irreducible, which means we can't reduce this quadratic any further. But we still have to decompose the fraction into partial fractions. So the first partial fraction is going to be something divided by x minus 2. And the second partial fraction is going to be something divided by x squared minus 3x plus 6. Now the first partial fraction, because we have a linear factor, is simply going to be a, a constant a divided by x minus 2. The second partial fraction, because we can't reduce this quadratic any further down to linear factors, we have to use a numerator that is one degree lower than the denominator. So in this case we are going to have a linear numerator. So I will write the numerator as b times x plus c. And now I will get a common denominator between the two factors and equate the numerators. And the easiest way to do that is to combine these two back again and then cross multiply. So this gives me a times x squared minus 3x plus 6 plus bx plus c in parentheses times x minus 2 all over x minus 2 times x squared minus 3x plus 6. And now with this numerator, I'm going to expand and simplify it first. So I get uh, a x squared minus 3ax plus 6a plus bx squared minus 2bx plus cx minus 2c and that is equal to a plus b multiplied by x squared plus minus 3a minus 2b plus c times x and then finally plus 6a minus 2c and that is equal to the numerator of 3x squared minus 10x plus 12. And now it is a matter of matching the corresponding coefficients. So what I'll get is a system of three equations. One is a plus b is equal to 3, 2, minus 3a minus 2b plus c is equal to negative 10, 3, 6a minus 2c is equal to 12. Okay, so I have a system of three equations which I'll now solve with an augmented matrix. So putting this into an augmented matrix, I get 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 3, so, so the first column corresponds to A, second B, third C, and uh, what it's equal to. So the second row is 3A minus 2B, and 1C is negative 10, 
The third row is 6a plus 0b minus 2c is equal to 12. So I'm going to start manipulating this matrix. The first thing I'm going to do is multiply the first row by 3, and then plus the third second row, and this becomes my new second row. So the first row remains as it is. The second row becomes, so 3 times 1 plus negative 3 is 0. 3 times 1 plus negative 2 is equal to 1. And 3 times 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. And 3 times 3 is 9. And plus negative 10 is negative 1. All right, row 3. I will do 6 times row 1 minus row 3 becomes the new row 3. So 6 times 1 is 6, minus 6 is 0. 6 times 1 is 6, minus 0 is 6. 6 times 0 minus negative 2 is positive 2. And 6 times 3 is 18, minus 12 is positive 6. All right, the next row manipulation I will do is 6 times row 2 minus row 3 becomes the new row 3. So I write 1, 1, 0 and 3, 0, 1, 1, negative 1, 0. Okay, 6 times 1 is 6, minus 6 is 0. 6 times 1 is 6, minus 2 is 4. And 6 times negative 1 is negative 6, minus 6 is negative 12. Okay, so this means I have c is equal to, 4 times c is equal to negative 12. And that means c is equal to negative 3. And for my second row, I have b plus c, so second row. is equal to negative 1, so b minus 3 is equal to negative 1, so therefore b is equal to positive 2. And now for my first row, I have a plus b is equal to 3, so a plus 2 is equal to 3, so therefore a is equal to 1. Okay, so finally we have reduced the original fraction down to a polynomial plus a proper fraction and then we've reduced it to its partial fractions. And we found that the coefficients were a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, and c is equal to negative 3. Alright, so I hope this video has helped you understand how to handle improper fractions and irreducible factors. Please give me a like if you have found this video useful and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, please ask by commenting below. Best of luck with your math studies and I'll see you next time.